it, it, it went in a very natural way. Uh, through the meetings, we discovered that there is so many or so much to address uh, on water that it would be a pity if we would focus only on one aspect of water. The collaboration that we knew that will split probably into some different and maybe sometimes very personal projects should have a common base. So our common base was that we first established what is our relationship towards water. We went either from the engineering point of view where we described how Ljubljana water pipelines, groundwater, wells and everything is working to the ideas of sensoring, smelling, tasting and so on of the water, all the different uh, let's fields and ideas that were there. We said, okay, let's put a common ground, like a platform of ideas of the group, of the senses, the water and the, all the different perspective, perspectives water has. And then at the end that we address some of the issues that we believe are the main issues. So it became already in a quite an early stage, it became clear that there was interest in the fountains or movement in water. There was, there were a lot of questions uh, about now, so if all the water is underground here in Ljubljana, how to reach or is there, could there be a possibility to somehow to experience this, to become aware? Um, we have been looking at several, uh, several spots from the beautiful river Ljubljanica, which is beautiful, but it feels very far away. And we thought, can't this be, can't this be more close to us? Can't it be a more social happening again? One, one body is 70% of water. So we believe that you have, at the end of all these experiments and, and travel with water around, you come back to yourself. And this, the last project that was done with like a full circle of water fluid coming out from you and then use them for food that you consummate afterwards would be a perfect wrap up with the environment and then coming back to yourself. And this is what this group was all about, to be full aware of the environment, of the surroundings, what's there around, which is not sometimes visible, sometimes more or less, and then come back to yourself and have a completely personal feeling about the water and personal relationship towards the water.